now now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine according to his power that is at work within us now to him who is able to do immeasurably iko chini sana bwana asifiwe amen yeah mmeanza kupona bwana asifiwe amen yeah that's what i wanted asante sana let's pray father in heaven speak to us in a special way in jesus name we pray amen yeah ninataka tukuuliza swali moja jioni ya leo kisha nitamaliza nitaomba kisha nitaenda zangu ni swali moja tu nataka kuuliza kisha nitaenda zangu swali hili linasema ya kwamba rada ni gani rada ni eh hey, rada ni eh hey, hey, watch follow instructions eh rada ni hey, is this my someone or your someone <laughs> yeah nimesema rada ni rada ni gani rada ni gani ni swali tunayoulizo wakati tunataka tunataka kujua hali ikiwa tunataka kufahamu hali tunauliza swali gani rada ni gani ikiwa tutafahamu hali tutajua jinsi ya kukaa wakati mambo yanaenda mrama kwa mfano wakati wakati mambo yanaendelea pale town na mambo yameenda mrama alafu watu wanakimbia mastingo wanakimbiza watu unauliza swali gani rada ni gani Alafu yule mwingine kwa upande wa pili atajibu rada ni chafu mastingo wanakuja. Hello. Eh hey, bado tuko pamoja? Najua muelewi hii lugha lakini kwa sababu ya hapa mtaelewa tu. Hey. Ikiwa madhe yamekasirika tunasema rada ni chafu usikasirishe madhe. Si ndio? Hey, si ndio? Rada ni gani? Wakati maisha inakuwa ngumu. Rada ni gani wakati vyakula zinapotea? Wakati mwingine tunajaribu, tunajaribu lakini mambo yanaenda murama. Maisha inakuwa ngumu. Swali tunajiuliza, rada ni gani? Rada ni gani wakati hali ya maisha kule mbele inakaa giza atujui maisha itakuwaje baadaye Swali tunauliza rada ni Eh hey, amujibu rada ni Gani Daudi akawa mchungaji wa kondoo kitabu cha Saburi 23 Daudi akawa mchungaji wa kondoo wakati anapochunga kondoo anatumwa nyikani ili aweze kuchunga kondoo na anapofika pale kuna waumbu kuna waumbu wa mwitu kuna wanyama pori na Daudi anapoendelea kuchunga kondoo anajiuliza moyoni mwake ikiwa simba atatokea rada itakuwa nini rada itakuwa gani mimi ni mtoto mdogo, mimi ni kijana mdogo, ikiwa nitashambuliwa na adui itakuwaje? Rada itakuwa gani? Na Daudi anaelewa ya kwamba kweli ikiwa nitashambuliwa, ikiwa sitakuwa katika upande ambayo inahitajika niwe, rada itakuwa chafu. Na ndio maana ninauliza tu watu hapa leo, ninauliza watoto wadogo, ninawauliza nyinyi watu wa Sunrise, rada ni? Hey, rada ni? Hey, mulienda rada ni gani? Na siku moja wakati Daudi anapochunga kondoo, rada ikawa chafu. Hello. Na wakati anapoendelea kushuka kondoo, simba akatokea. Na wakati simba anapotokea, Daudi anashika simba, anairarua hadi simba anafanya nini? Anakufa. Wakati mwingine Daudi ikawa anapeleka chakula kule vitani. Anapopeleka chakula kule vitani, anapofika pale, anapata jamaa anaitwa Goliati, anachokoza watu wa Mungu. Na wanapoendelea kuchokoza watu wa Mungu, Daudi akajua hapa rada ni chafu. 
akaenda kando nasikiza wacha niwape siri moja ambayo Daudi anapenda ambayo alipenda kuitumia Daudi alielewa ya kwamba wakati rada ni chafu unatembele unatembea kando unatafuta nani unatafuta Mungu Daudi akasonga kando akasema inakuwaje kuwaje wewe unakubali mtu ambaye ni mtu tu yule akujui Mungu anatusi watu wa Mungu na kisha baada ya kuconsult na Mungu baada ya kukuwa na mkutano mchache na Mungu akatoka na akawaambia sikizeni ndio rada ni chafu lakini wakati Mungu yuko mbele rada inakuwa nini safi Haleluya na kisha Daudi anashika jiwe anaenda mbele anatangulia akijua ya kwamba mbele iko sawa kwa sababu Yesu ametangulia haleluya na anapoenda anapata anapata pia goliato anasongea anaposonga goliato pia hashtuki goliato akazusha ile 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 kitu ambaye alikuwa anatumia kujifunika nayo na, na anapoizusha dauni akarusha jiwe na anaporusha jiwe ikampata goliato na goliato akafariki hapo na hapo rada ikawa safi haleluya Eh hey, nimekuja tu kuambia kwamba sikizeni wakati unajiuliza rada ni gani enda katika kitabu cha Saburi sa, sa, 23 ambayo inasema ya kwamba Bwana ndiye mchungaji wa nani wow. sitapungukiwa na kitu Na Daudi alielewa hiyo ya kwamba wakati Bwana ndiye mchungaji wangu rada inakuwa safi haleluya nasikiza anasema ya kwamba siwezi pungukiwa na kitu kwa sababu Bwana ndiye mchungaji wangu. Hello. Yeah. Na anaendelea anasema ya kwamba unilaza katika majani mabichi. Hello. That's the God that we are talking about. Huyo ndiye Mungu ambaye anayetengeneza rada iwe safi. Wakati tunahitaji anaelewa kabla hatujeulizie na anaenda mbele anafungua njia anafanya rada iwe safi. Haleluya. Nasikiza? Anaendelea anasema ya kwamba japo nitakapopita katika bonde wa uvuli wa mabuti. Sitaogopa mabaya. Sitaogopa mabaya. Eh, hey, hao wanaelewa. Sitaogopa nini? kwa sababu japo mambo yanakuwa magumu ndio hapa imekuwa mwisho mbele ni giza kando kando inakuwa giza siogopi kitu kwa sababu Mungu yuko pamoja nami haleluya na ametangulia mbele ili aweze kuifungua nje na kuna mahali ambapo anasema ya kwamba gongo lake yanafanya nini ni fariji. Sikiza, kazi ya fimbo, kazi ya fimbo katika miaka zile za Kiebrania ni unaitembea ili uweze kuna sio sio vitu mbili. Fimbo kuna ma, pale chini in English it's called my road and staff. Down there is the road, up here is the staff, but it's the same thing. But when things becomes hard, you use the road. Are we together to protect the ship against the enemy are we together but when when there seems to be no way there seems njia imekuwa ngumu nitapita wapi hapa kondo anahitajika kupita you use the the stuff you get the way so that the ship may go asa skiza anasema your road and your stuff confront comfort me we don't fear because his road and his staff comfort us wakati maisha inakuwa ngumu wakati hatujui tutapita haji the staff inafungua njia haleluya and that's why we say that god open the way where there is no way nasikiza ninapenda mahali inasema ya kwamba verse 5 verse 5 inasema nini verse 5 inasema nini hebu soma kuandaa meza kuandaa meza mbele za adui zangu sikiza wakati Daudi anaposungumza Daudi anasema ya kwamba hii ni safari na kwa sababu hii ni safari kuna kikomo hey ina habari njema kwenu ya kwamba hii safari ina kikomo haleluya 
Itapokuwa maisha inakuwa ngumu sasa hivi. Kuna safari yoyote ile ina kikomo. Swali ni baada ya mwisho itaisha aje. Ikiwa Mungu atakuwa mchungaji wako, anasema ya kwamba ataandaa meza mbele ya adui. Hey, na anaendelea anasema ya kwamba na kikombe changu kitafanya nini? Kitafurika. Anasema ya kwamba and you are blessings, you will be blessed until you won't have anywhere to store them. The reason as to why unapitia mambo magumu sasa ni kwa sababu God is preparing you for the store that at the end of everything God will bless you until you won't have anywhere to put them. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hey, watu ambao mko hapa siku ya leo nimekuja tu kueleza ya kwamba rada ni safi ikiwa utakuwa na Yesu Kristo. Amen. Rada itakuwa safi ikiwa Mbwana atakuwa mchungaji wako. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen na mwisho anasema ya kwamba baada ya safari mwisho wa mambo yote nitakaa nyumbani mwa baba milele siku zote za maisha yangu the destination is to stay at the house of the father for the rest of my life haleluya Eh hey, wacha tu niwaeleze ya kwamba nina habari njema ya kwamba ikiwa Yesu atakuwa mchungaji wetu rada itakuwa safi. Haleluya. Hata wakati hatuna vyakula tunatembeza Yesu mbele ili Yesu afungue njia na rada itakuwa safi. Haleluya. Hata wakati hatuna karo Yesu akitangulia mbele atatengeneza rada iwe safi. Haleluya. Wakati mambo yanaelekea kuwa magumu tafuta Yesu ili awe mchungaji wako. Na baada ya mambo yote kusemwa na kutendwa rada itakuwa safi. Mwana vijinza watoto wanavyoimba. Mm. Wanaelewa ya kwamba Bwana ndiye mchungaji. Wow. Na ukisikia katika testimony zao utaelewa kweli ya kwamba ikiwa Bwana atakuwa mchungaji wenu. Ikiwa Bwana atakuwa mchungaji wako. Atafungua njia na rada itakuwa safi. Mm.